Sometimes it's convenient if you dissect the brain without removing the body. In this case, first you remove the legs and wings, but you keep the body attached to the brain. Since the brain is very small, you can easily lose the specimen when you change the staining solution or fixative. But if you keep the body attached to the brain, then it's easier to find where the, the specimen is. After you remove the wings and legs, and then first you remove the, the mouse part. And then you put the tips of the forceps through this large hole of the mouth. And then you separate the two antennae and the, the region between the two compound eyes. Make sure not to pull the two eyes horizontally. Otherwise, you give too much stress on the region between the, the optic lobes and the central brain, and this part can be broken. So, gently remove the cuticulum of the forehead between the two eyes. Now we go to the region on top of the brain. Like this. And then we can remove the, the cuticulum of the compound eye. Now we remove the compound eye. Lamina can often be removed together with the eyes. It's very difficult to keep the lamina attached to the optic crop. And now we remove the cuticulum behind the head. And also we remove the, the air sacs, which are uh, attached on the brain surface. And if you try to pull the brain frontally, and then the neck part can be broken. So be careful not to remove this ne neck part, which is very thin. And there are the, the cuticulum of the, the hind head around the neck. And this part must be removed. Otherwise, the fixative and the standing solution cannot penetrate to the hind brain region. And you don't have to worry about damaging the body region. Because for our purpose, the body functions only as a holder of the brain. In this way, you can pick the body and transfer to the epidural cap. You put about 100 microns of, uh, of fixative in the, the cap, like this. And now we try to dissect the brain with a different approach. In this case, Again, we remove all the legs and wings, but then we dissect the head from the top rather than from the mouse part. So first, you grip the region just behind the, the, the three, three ocelli on top of the head. In this region, there are small uh, open space between the head cuticles and the brain surface. So it's safe to put the forceps. Then we pull the two halves of the head cuticle. Again, do not put too much stress horizontally. Otherwise, the region between the optic crops and the brain can be cut. Carefully make a nick from the forebrain through the antennae towards the mouth part, and then peel the, the two halves of the head capsule away. If everything goes well, you can, can remove the head capsule much more quickly in this way. However, the risk of damaging the brain is also higher, so there is a kind of trade-off.
you can also transfer the body specimen using a pipette this way 